How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsev. Stealth Conversion Series. First thing we're going to do is I had a bunch of wedges in here for the roof to give it kind of a pitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty snap-on jack here and I'm going to see if we can't jack this metal up a little bit to give her the arch. It'll also give me a little bit more headroom if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to do that instead of re-wedging it. We'll just arch it. Even uh, let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. Let me get this piece of wood out of here. Oh, that one's really wedged in there, Jim. Oh, 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 hey. Captain. Yeah, it is. We'll get her. We gotta get her. Still one. Maybe. Watch the wires there, Jim. All right, she's almost out. Maybe. Oh yeah. yeah you gotta be one of them, are ya? Get out of there. I said, get out of there. I said, get out of there. Out. There we go. That's a big piece of wood, Jim. But it's out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a 2x4 and we're going to start right about here. I'm thinking, and we're going to give it a jack job. Perfect. Oh, and it actually stayed. Well, I'll be dipped. This is going to work, Captain. Another jack job here. Up. Up, I said. Set up higher. Right about there. Only until she just starts to make noises. That's what you want to do. That's how you re-arch a roof. Look at her go. Yeah, that's it. You crack away because you're going to like it when I'm done. There you go. Next. Perfect. Nope, one more. Ooh. Maybe she needs some over here. She does. Not bad, not too bad. Oh, look at the clearance I'm getting. Get some clearance on the clearance, Jim. We gotta weld all the holes in the roof and seal her all up anyway, so we might as well adjust her where she needs to be first. We're gonna give this one a little bit more pressure. There she is. Okay. Next, let's see if we can get her right in the middle. Let's give her a middle jack, see what happens. Careful. Oh, besides this wire. Whatever. I'll run a new wire. I don't care. We'll get her out of there. Oh, yeah. Listen to her flex. There we go. Oh, decent. They don't do that at all. That was a good one. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. We're getting some work out. Listen to her. She's saying, oh yeah, you're stretching me out. I love it. It feels so good. Friggin' right it feels good. You can't lie to me. Beauty. Yes, sir. Here's a seam. Let's see if you can't split her. Listen to it. It likes it. Nothing the welder can't fix, Jim. There we go. One more. Back, you gotta be careful, Chris. As we go for the back, we're gonna stretch it. This one's gonna make some noises. A little bit of sides with this one. Watch out for the angle, today. Don't let to take your foot off, Jim. Beautiful. You know what? I might come back all the way to the That's not a bad idea. Okay? Beautiful. Get out of the way there, Captain Zelchero. Careful. Beautiful. Two more. Well, one more for sure.
pants falling down, Captain. Ah, look at that friggin' head. Oh, yeah, I gave myself an extra three quarters of an inch to an inch. That's a lot. I know you're just thinking to yourself, that's not fuck all. You're wrong. That's a lot. I think I already jacked this one off. I don't think I jacked up from the center, though. Maybe I did. Let me jack it again. Just to make sure. Perfect. Next, our captain's chair's in the way. Yo. Jack one back here. There we go. Careful. I'm gonna break welds here. Even though if we do, this is when they made metal metal. So we can easily weld her back up, Captain. I actually already did this one, but I'm gonna do it again. Oh, yeah, that seems to be sure. Glad I have the technology to repair that. It's called Chur Seal. It's called Dummy. So there you go. That brought the roof up, now it's tighter. Might be a little bit more on this guy. There we go. That looks better. Back one. Okay. Is that it, you think? How's it look from there? Pretty good. We did it. So that's how you gain yourself some clearance in a low truck. Now I got enough room to walk through the middle. I'm just going to put a little thin piece of wood here and a little thin piece of mattress on the bottom. So I should pretty much rub all the way. I'm six foot though. So for you that are shorter than me, get lots of height. I could probably even go up another inch and a half if I really push on it. But like I said, you got to watch that you don't cock over the seams. This back seam is garbage. You can tell it's leaking just by the amount of rush that's in it. Somebody's tried to seal it from the inside, which don't work. You got to seal them from the outside. So we'll grind all this down, put some rust kill in there, and then we'll go to the roof and we'll seal it that way. That way we're good to go, Joe. But yeah, other than that, that's, that's mint. I can't, I can't complain there. So this is the first project done with the roof raise. A little roof stretch, as you call it. Next we got to do is, like I said, this LS, we got to get it running. And we got the wiring harness right here, the gas tank's right there. We got the harness here with the computer. So we just got to figure out the harness. We got the hood. We got to get the engine running before we put too much time and effort into this thing. Even though the engine will run, but still, that's a big turning point. If it's running and I can move it to the front garage when I want to work on it, I can move it back. Oh, it needs a drive shaft too, but I got three in the garage. So hopefully we may get lucky. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress just today even. We got the roof up. Now we just got to seal it up. Weld up all the little holes that are in the roof that somebody commented on. Yeah, there's holes because there used to be sirens and everything else in this thing. So we got to get the welder up on the roof and we'll weld that up and that will be good. Maybe even weld that back seam from the roof side. We'll see how it looks up there. That'd probably be better and then seam seal it. That way it's solid. But we'll get all this cleaned up and go from there, Jim. So hopefully you stick around with this build and you enjoy it. And we'll see you on the next one.